Evening, everyone. If you don't know who I am, I'm Enrico's cooler younger brother. Uh, for those of you who do know me and can attest to that, nice to see you again. Um, first, I'd like to thank everyone for coming tonight. For example, I flew here from San Diego directly after my genetics class, and I'm skipping my last few days of my last few days of class. So, if I fail my exam, it's on these two right here. <laughs> but all jokes aside, I'm glad to be here, and I'm honored to be my older brother's best man. I'd also like to say that everyone looks amazing, but especially the groom and the bride. And in true college, uh, uh, in true college student fashion, I made my speech last night. But I will say most of my best work is usually done last minute, like my seven-page philosophy paper that I did in the line while waiting for a concert. <laughs> and I got a 95, so I think uh, this speech will be good. So I always knew that I was going to be my brother's best man, but I never knew how soon this day would come. With all the stress from the semester, time flew so quick, and it's crazy that I'm here right now, not studying for my finals or working on my presentations that I do want to get back. However, that's a later problem, and I'm glad to be here in this space with all of you. And before I continue with the rest of the speech, I wanted to point out two key words that will be used. In Tagalog, the word kuya means older brother, and the word ate means older sister. So yeah, I'll be, refer be, re be referring to those words a few times. Yeah. My Kui and I are six years apart, so naturally we were never really close growing up. I was his annoying little brother who wouldn't leave him alone, and he was someone who would always pay for me. If I could say one thing about my Kui, it would be how he was always there for me when I needed him. He always made sure that I was okay, especially with money. <laughs> I always knew that if I never, but I always knew that if I ever needed anything, I would, could always reach out to him, no matter what it was. He would always spend on me $25 instead of the 10 or 20 that I'd ask him for, and I'd always forget to pay him back. So, <laughs> yeah. His generosity and kind-heartedness comes from him being a great Kuya who learned from his experiences. He wanted me to enjoy my life without worrying about money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because he was in my shoes, and for that, I'm forever grateful. But I'm not only grateful for the amount of money he spent on me, but the memories. <laughs> I never tell him how much I look up to him or appreciate him because one, I'm Asian and I don't like to express my emotions, and two, and two, I thought it was already a given. It is given. But today I'd like to thank you for being a great example of what it's like to be a great Kuya in person. My childhood was full of laughter and joy, but it was also full of tears as you would make me your goalie when you would practice soccer, which would always end up with a ball to my face. And, and also broken teeth as you would try to cartwheel on the bed, ultimately kicking my face and trying to stop me from crying so you don't get in trouble. But you didn't get in trouble, but I got in trouble. <laughs> Um, you were always good at everything, making it hard for me to be my own person, since I would always get compared to you. But I'm also really glad that you were good at everything so that I could finally quit sports. <laughs> <laughs> um, every time you came back from college would be the happiest since I never felt alone. But although I chose the farthest college possible from you, I wish you were closer. But... Yeah, well, anyway, <laughs> to Bree, thank you for being the coolest and someone I can always look up to. I'm glad to have met you throughout my brother, but I'm even more glad to have more free McDonald's. <laughs> You've been nothing but kind to me, and I'm glad we were able to bond about how annoying my brother is. You've taught me a lot, like how to park a car, but most importantly, how to shotgun a, a seltzer. <laughs> I look up to you two more than you think. I'm glad that you're officially a part of the family because it's about that time. Um, thank you for always taking care of my Kuya and making him happy. And he would always try to get me to call you Ate. And I would always refuse, but I want to say, welcome to the family, Ate. <laughs> yeah. You both come so far as individuals and as a couple. Everyone present here can attest to that. Otherwise, you would not be here right now. I'm glad to have been a part of your journey, and I look forward to more adventures and memories with you, too. 
But I hope that you both know that even if you two are married, I will always still ask you for money and you have to take me to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. I wish you both the best of luck. I hope you two enjoy this new journey that you're about to embark on together. Thank you all for coming um, to this beautiful and sacred day. Um, it's an honor to finally be here. I know Brianna and Enrico are incredibly grateful that you could attend this uh, I don't think I need to introduce myself, but for those of you who don't know, Brianna and I met in college. <laughs> Just kidding. We are obviously very much sisters. Um, however, these two did meet in college, and I was fortunate enough to be there on the day they met. It's a bit of a funny occurrence, as Rico got, you know, Nate, Nate's mixed up, texted the wrong sister, but don't worry, folks, we got it all sorted. <laughs> <laughs> but on a more serious note, it has been an absolute honor to be close and watch their relationship grow into what it has. Um, the beginnings of their relationship one evening, Rico called me over to his apartment to discuss some concerns that he had about Brianna and a potential relationship and uh, was kind of on the fence about moving forward. A long chat later and he told me, don't tell Brianna. Well, I think you all know what I did. <laughs> uh, however, it wasn't until recently I learned that it was planned. Rico, knowing that I would tell Brianna everything, told me all those things, hoping I would tell her them, and they moved forward. And look at that, here we are. <laughs> a mastermind, he did study psychology. <laughs> uh, Rico wasn't the only one a little apprehensive about their relationship in the beginning. I remember long conversations with Brianna of, I'm not sure, I think I just want to be friends. I don't know, I'm not ready for a relationship. Only three weeks later to tell me, I think I love him. <laughs> so, obviously things worked out and they will now be together forever. I'm incredibly grateful to Rico for what he has done for our sweet real He is everything she has ever needed and everything I could ever hope for for her and a partner. I'm not gonna make it, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is so patient with her and incredibly <laughs> Um, incredibly considerate and it is so obvious that he cares for her incredibly deep. He is honest and thoughtful and I've always admired his drive to make sure she is cared for and I have never once worried that she wouldn't be. Rico has been one of my favorite additions to our family and over the last six years he truly has become like a brother, bullying included. <laughs> Brianna, you are a woman to be admired. Oh, yeah. Um, you are intelligent and dedicated and elegant. You always know what you want and have the drive. And you dive headfirst into all of your tasks and do not stop until you are done. You are so spunky and beautiful, but it doesn't just stop at the surface. You have such a giving heart. And you are so thoughtful and purposeful in everything you do. Being one of your big sisters is a gift, and I will always cherish it. Watching you grow up right in front of me is not something you can ever be prepared for. One minute mom's driving us to dance, and the next she's driving us to your wedding. Thank you for allowing me to be here with you today as your maid of honor. It's an honor to be your sister. Ulrika, it's an honor to be yours. I wish you the happiest marriage and hope you keep God at the center. Cheers to the Del Vassar. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, sure. okay. Um, <laughs> don't mind my sniffles. Um, I actually was going to prepare a speech, but then it was two minutes before we were going to walk down the aisle, and I said, whatever. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. I know some of you have come from across the world, and some of you across the country, and some, some from 10 minutes down the road, but it means so much to us that all of you have taken the time out of your day to be here tonight with us. Um, we just can't even express it in words. Um, a special thank you to both of our parents. <laughs> now it's me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, we can't, again, express how much we are thankful for your support our whole lives, but also throughout our entire relationship. Um, and then another special thank you to our bridal party. You guys have been so amazing this entire journey. Ow! <laughs> um, and some of you have been extra amazing this whole week, <laughs> Mary. Um, so uh, toast to all of you, and um, thank you for being here.